Here's my old Orion XT10 I've had for quite some time. Of course, see the handles that I use right here to lift it and stuff and tighten those up. Uh, those are scope totes right there. And these down here are from the astronomy shop. They really help. I can, uh, you can see as I back up now, the altitude's far better than the springs. And as you can see, as I took pictures of, I just got done doing the uh, Lazy Susan adjustment, and uh, it's actually kind of windy. I know it's kind of in the garage. I had it out in the grass, and uh, it holds really good. Uh, nice and loose now. Uh, the asthma's not like I'm jerking it around. I mean, there there is a good thing to stiction, but to be honest with you, this thing had far too much stiction. The Lazy Susan for what cost me 12 bucks. Uh, and then my time to put it on, which was actually pretty easy. And then uh, I did a couple other adjustments. Uh, I found some nylon uh, bolts, or uh, some nylon, uh, let's see right here, nylon uh, flat washers. And uh, kind of used those to anchor in some of the stuff down there in the base and uh, I am extremely happy with the motions here uh, this is excellent uh, simple mod uh, just get a 12 inch uh, for a 10 inch I got a 12 inch uh, uh, lazy Susan bearing and uh, measured it out, uh, made sure that uh, it, by measuring out that it was centered, uh, that's pretty actually pretty important because uh, as you can see it just it does twirl a little bit but I'd rather have that than what I had before. I actually put some carpet down there, carpet acts as a break and so that way it's not so stiff and uh, yeah, you can see there's my 17 back there, a little 10 here. So I should do that really quick. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway, just so you can see, there you go, 10 and 17 in my messy garage. But, uh, actually, I wish I'd done this years ago. Uh, I did cut back the uh, altitude bearings a little bit. Probably need to move them a little bit closer together, too. But have another idea that I'm going to do with some of these washers to help the rubbing on the side bearing there. Put a couple of those nylon washers that are real thin there. See if that won't help uh, alleviate some of the bearing wear there. But uh, I got to tell you, if you haven't done the, if you have an XT10, you haven't done the altitude bearing, boy, this is just like a new scope. Uh, you see there's the case for it. I'd actually thought about giving it up a while back. The person never came and got it. And now, I guess I'm going to be an Indian giver because this thing is just like primo. I love it. Anyway, so there we go. Mod XT10. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can see where I keep my tape so I can get the mirror in and out of there. That new 10-inch mirror I have in there. And then uh, just a Norian structure. And with a couple mods... You can make it near premium to where it's good to go. I'll probably need to at some point order a, since I'm going to keep it, get a new moonlight and put it there. And uh, I think this baby will get another 10 years out of her. So, see down there, I've talked about it before, those are my uh, electrical tape wrapped ceramic magnets. Uh, I do have another magnet that I can put on the back, but I find I really don't need to. Especially with these knobs, I can loosen them up. They're pretty loose right now. I can tighten it down if I need to, to add tension if the uh, things on there get too much. So anyway, there we go.